Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I will now be chatting to an accomplished and inspiring speaker that was here at the Muslima Conference, 13th annual one. And so pleased to get just a quick interview with uh, Amina Kathri Jamal, who gave an inspirational talk, mashallah. But firstly, before we get to that, just quickly, uh, Amina, tell us about um, your experience with Muslima Today's conference this year um, and what has stood out for you. Okay, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I have attended many of the Muslimah today and the Ilm Essay events in the in the past, uh, so I'm very familiar with uh, Fatima's uh, exemplary uh, precision, uh, the way she conducts her conferences and that. And uh, you know, her manage of time. I'm very impressed with the managing of uh, the to the minute. You know, and everything is like just so well organized. There's just no glitches or any errors or anything that anyone. Can can find that didn't go well and again once again she's outdid herself uh, once again this year it's amazing to see such a wonderful response as well and I think the array of speakers you know they're such varied speakers which was also very very interesting uh, I had another commitment and I was supposed to leave by one o'clock but it's like three o'clock and I'm still here so alhamdulillah it's been just amazing even Sheikh's talk we've learned so much you know from that as well um, anything that stood out for you at this year's event, seeing that you have been at the previous ones? Do you know, um, in the break, I had so many ladies come up to me, and it was after my, my talk, and everybody with tears in their eyes, and said they resonated with what I said. All I did was relate my journey as a widow. Uh, and, I, and I kept telling Fatima that, you know, what's, what's different about my journey? There are many widows in the world, and I didn't realize the impact. Uh, and they, they, they just felt they, that I was identifying with a lot of other widows. And I feel, I feel very touched that I've helped women and that I've made a difference. And now women know about the support group that we run. So I think I, I'm so happy that I was here today. And I'm very glad and appreciative uh, for Fatima for inviting me. I've uh, made, made many new friends. And you know, almost every family has a widow or a divorcee. And I think I also addressed the challenges that these ladies face. And many came to me and also said, you know, we never thought about some of these challenges that they face. But that's true. I, I was sitting there and looking the same with the same, I, uh, you know, thing in mind. And when I spoke to the ladies as well, and you were also one of the speakers that stood out for them. And often we don't realize until it hits our door. So Alhamdulillah, we appreciate you sharing because it's not often, and I think that is the problem, that it's not often that women come out and speak about it and that the rest of the world can know you are not alone. Mashallah. So, um, my side at least just listening to your your interview I'd like to know that uh, through your experience what stood out for you the lesson that you've learned and that you've come out to where you are today there's nothing that we can do to change the circumstances everything is planned ordained in decree of Allah you have to come to terms with that and once you make peace with that situation uh, then everything starts falling into place uh, as I said before it's like you know there were times when you question there are times when you feel sorry for yourself you think you're a victim uh, why me but then I learned to say why not me because through that is where I'm going to gain my Jannah we come alone we leave alone so it's it's uh, I think Allah chose me to be the wife of, uh, you know, my husband was very involved in community work. He had started Radio Alansar here. Yes, yeah, so, uh, you know, Alansar, the organization was born in my lounge. So we've been in that, uh, you know, community work for a while. And uh, he was a phenomenal man as well, alhamdulillah. And I feel blessed to have been his wife. And now I understand that this was Allah's plan. Had I not become a widow, I wouldn't have understood their journey. I would have not started a support group. There is no support group for Muslim women who are widowed and divorced. So I think uh, everything is through the decree of Allah. It's not an easy journey, I have to admit. But somehow, there are days still that I do feel down. Uh, I do feel, as we spoke about, the loneliness is one of the big factors that women face you know um, and uh, alhamdulillah it's only through the will of Allah that we can smile through everything I think a word that's often used is resilience what does resilience mean to you and how differently has it changed the meaning has changed for you after your journey until where you see yourself now? Yeah. do you know uh, I have some people who have told me I've changed and I'm very happy when they tell me that if I didn't change how will I cope you know, so circumstances change us. It's not that we want to change uh, knowingly, 
but you unknowingly become like that and that's when your resilience comes in because now you have to have the strength to continue day to day you could easily just lie in bed, pull it away over your head and that's the end of it all. Or you could decide and as I said is that I'm still living so I've got to live in dunya in the way that Allah is pleased with me so that I can also work towards my akhirah. So lastly my question to you, someone that's watching right now that's going through a very difficult time um, and facing an adversity that feels like this is the end for them. What, what message do you have for them? This is not the end. Because this is just the beginning of what you are going to be getting. And I think if we understand our presence in dunya and uh, where we are heading. As I said, we come alone and we go alone. And uh, every trial and tribulation. And I used to actually uh, you know, talk to Allah and I'll say, every sigh you are hearing, every tear you are witnessing. And these are not going to be wasted. So I think your best solace and if you are going through any difficulty or hardship is the musallah. I think just talk to Allah as much as you can. Even if we don't talk, sometimes just by sitting quietly, Allah knows and hears it all. And He knows what you are feeling. And you will feel the difference. Because if I talk to a friend, and yeah, she'll comfort me and things like that. But the solace that we get from, you know, recitation of the Quran, reading your, as I mentioned, is I used to read the two rakat salat al hajat and feel like, uh, you know, a Popeye who had a can of... <laughs> of spinach you know it just gives you that strength so right now my 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 advice would be is that talk to allah and he's the only one that can give you the strength to continue day to day for your time and also your presence here today and i hope that you're not running too late and inshallah your next engagement you'll be there for this opportunity shukran wa alaikum salam and there we have it. We spoke to a sister Amina who was a speaker at this event. And if you want to see more of her talk, please tune in to Hilal TV's YouTube page as well. And then attend the next Muslima Today conference. Asalaamu Alaikum.